Hey, what's up everybody? It's McGill CFO and I'm shooting this quick video because I want to break down how much it costs for me to start my semi truck business. So let's get right into it. The first thing I had to do was set up my LLC and that was $100. The next thing I had to do was get my operating authority. So as a part of the process of getting your operating authority, you need to fill out the DOT application, uh, the DOT and MC application with the FMCSA. That's $300 for the filing fee. The next thing you have to do is complete the BOC3 filing, which you can find those online. You'll see them for different amounts, anywhere from $30 to $100. Um, I used a site where it was only $30. The next thing I did was I had to go and buy my truck. So I went down, uh, bought my semi truck. It was a day cab. Um, and I paid $20,700 for it. Once I had my truck, I had to get my commercial liability insurance. The down payment on that insurance, it cost me $4,200. Once I had my insurance, after about 20 days, I received a letter from the FMCSA where it granted my operating authority. So now I was officially um, license to be a motor carrier um, in the United States. Once I got that letter, the next thing I had to do was get the plates. So the, the plates for one year cost me $1,600. Because it's a semi-truck business, there's a tax that we have to pay um, for fuel taxes. And one of the requirements is you have to have a fuel tax license. That's your IFTA. The IFTA, it cost me $25 for that license. My UCR filing fees were $62, and my 2290s for one truck for one year, um, based on the, the gross weight of you know, my truck, was $550. Next thing I had to do was go and get the DOT decals put on my truck. So you have to have your company name and your, D, your DOT number um, visible on the side of your truck on both sides. Those decals cost me $150. Another one of the requirements is you have to have a DOT inspection on your commercial vehicle. Now, I didn't have to pay anything for anything extra because when I bought the truck, it already had a current DOT, uh, current DOT inspection um, done on the truck that was still valid. Um, fire extinguishers, um, that cost me $30. Um, my ELD and my log books, um, it cost me $160. Trailer, so I rented my first trailer. I had to pay $1,000 as the down payment, uh, I'm sorry, as a deposit on the trailer. So $1,000 for the trailer. GPS, I bought a trucker GPS for my driver and that was $300. As part of being a trucking business owner, you have to um, be enrolled in the drug program and enrollment in the program that I was in was $300. Another thing as an owner of a trucking business, you also have to complete supervisor training. Um, and I did a training online and that training was $50. So total, if you add up all of this stuff, how much it cost me to start my trucking business was $29,000. Five hundred and fifty seven dollars. Now that cost can vary, you know, for other people out there based on the truck. So you might get a more expensive truck. You might get a free truck. Um, so it's really just going to depend on your truck and trailer and, and what type of operation you're running. Um, but roughly ballpark thirty thousand dollars is how much it costs for me to start my trucking business. Now, if you're in the process of starting your trucking business and you tripped up on something, or you haven't started the process and you're not quite sure where to start, and you need somebody to coach coach you, I actually offer coaching um, and mentoring, as well as tax and accounting services to trucking business owners. So if you if you need any, if you are in need of any of those services, look in the link below in the description, you'll find my contact information, um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Also, don't forget, if you have any questions or any issues, go ahead and leave a comment in the video. Um, I'll try to answer as many questions in the comments as I can. 
Um, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe for more content. Thanks.